keep your virginity. Keep your if you can't keep your virginity, maybe it's too late for you. Then keep your body. Keep the rest. Wherever they stop on you, just keep the rest for the man. You know, even though you have slept with 30 men, the one that just got you, you're still fresh for him. Okay, so when you have done it before marriage, so what do you look forward to? What exactly is that night going to be? Why? Why is the brother eager? The brother is eager because the brother never shopped before now. You know? The brother is eager because you're new. The brother is eager because he's been waiting. The brother is eager because he has not eaten the apple. The brother is eager because the place is special. Because he hasn't gotten there before. <laughs> but <laughs> when the brother has entered, enter, 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 enter. Okay, I even forgot the most important part. Good day, glorious families. How you are doing? Welcome to the Gloria Generations Family YouTube channel. If you are new here, I'm going to say thank you for coming. If you are old, return a subscriber and say God bless you. Okay, today I want us to quickly discuss about reasons why you should not go down with him before marriage. This topic is going to be, you know, like profitable to all, whether you're married or you're single. Why is it profitable to you if you're married? Fine, you're already married, you may think it's not profitable, but it is. It is profitable to you because you have children. It is profitable to you because even if you don't have children now, you are still going to have children. So when your children comes, male or female, you will know what to teach them. And then to all singles, it is very much profitable. I mean, 100% profitable to you if you have not gone down with them. It is also profitable to you, let's say like 80%. I want us to quickly talk about, you know, sex before marriage. What is written about sex before marriage in the Bible? comes predominantly from the book of 1 Corinthians written by Paul. 1 Corinthians 6, 18 through 20 says, Flee from sexual immorality. Every other, every other sin a person commits is outside the body. But the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. Now remember, his own body doesn't actually mean his own body. Your body is not your body like per se. Your body is of Christ because the Bible divine our body as temple of God. So it's a place of worship. That is where God stays. That is where he lives. The Holy Spirit is always inside of your heart and your, your heart is inside of your body. So your body, the sin against your body is a sin against God because that is the temple of God. So I am not trying to preach, but I'm just trying to teach, tell us and point out some important things that you might not have noticed. There is no Hebrew or Greek word used in the Bible that precisely refers to sex before marriage. The Bible undeniably condemns adultery and sexual immorality, but, this, but is sex before marriage con considered sexually immoral? According to 1 Corinthians, I don't know, you should just answer that. Is it, is it sexually immoral, sex before marriage? Some people will say, some men. We say because I've been through it. Your boyfriend or fiancé will say, uh, let's do it because after all, I'm going to end up with you. I'm sure you have heard that before. First Corinthians 7 to answer that question. Is uh, premarital sex, is it a sin? That's what we are talking about now. First Corinthians 7 to says, but because of the temptation of sexually immorality, each man should have his own wife. And each woman her own husband. What does that mean? It means because you will believe that, oh, we cannot hold our body. Of course, because you're already planning to marry, because you already agree and marry this person, that attraction is there. Naturally, you will be attracted to each other. You will be feeling it like the, the you know, the magnetic. Yes. Can you borrow me some grammar? You know, it will be coming. So how can you avoid that? How to avoid that is to speed up your wedding, you know, wedding day. Speed up the date. Instead of you to have it in December, please have it in January when you are feeling it. But you have to be sure. You have to be sure of the person, you know, because uh, I'm still going into all that. So, but since there is so much immorality, each man should have his own wife and each woman her own husband. In this verse, Paul stated that, Marriage is the cure for sexual immorality. Of course, if you think say you cannot hold body, 
You can't hold your body. You know your body is always shaky, shaky. Then go into the marriage. But you know what? There are a lot of factors you need to put in place. Consider a lot of things before you go into the, into your marriage. You know marriage is a light. Otherwise, if you're rushing, you're going to rush out. So, we are still going to talk about a lot about that. So, but since there is so much immorality, each man should have his own wife. And then I want to proceed. In this verse, Paul states that marriage is a cure for sexual immorality. 1 Corinthians 7.2 is essentially saying that because people cannot control themselves and so many are having immoral sex outside of marriage, people should get married. Then they can fulfill their passions in a moral way. Okay, now I want to go deeper and deeper. The reason you click into this video is why you should not go into sexual immorality before marriage hmm. you know um number one is what the bible says that um a sin against your body is sin against christ a sin against because the, our body is the temple of of god so that is the you know that's the major major reason we all know so anyone who is a Christian, who is who is doing it like before marriage, you can't tell me you don't know it's a sin. You know it's a sin, but you are doing it because you're tempted. Going into premarital sex, that's exactly where I'm going now. It is going to deprive you of a lot. Now, the most important part that none of you had ever thought about when you have sex before marriage. Have you ever noticed it? That... Most ladies, let me not go into the men now. Most ladies that got involved in sex before marriage, you are likely, likely, I mean, I'm not going to say 80% likely. Let me say like 95% likely to fight the same battles your parents fight, your parents fought. I'm very sure. Whatever you will see history repeating itself. It is very, very, very common. Just ask questions. Ask questions, I mean. If you indulge yourself in premarital sex, you are likely to have the same pattern that your parent had in their marriage. If your parent fought the battle of mother-in-law, you are likely to get involved. You are likely to go through the same battle. If your brother was the one who... Who, of course, if your mother got pregnant before marriage, your your mother had a had pregnancy outside wedlock, you are likely to do the same thing. Why? Because you have involved yourself, you are indulging yourself in premarital sex. So when you indulge yourself in premarital sex, be prepared because look at the history. You will realize that you are likely to repeat the mistakes of your parents to repeat the, the same battle your parents fought, you are likely to fight the same battle. You are likely to fight the same battle. If you want to doubt me, try and search. Do your research. You know, just do your research and then you're going to see it. You're going to know that. So this is not just about whether Bible is against it or Bible is supporting it or something. Because everything when it comes to don't do this, don't do this, we want to, we want to blame the Bible for, forever asking us not to do this. It's only the good things in the Bible we want to pick. Every other thing that says, thou shalt not, they are our enemies. We don't want those. So be careful so that you will not repeat the same battle, so that the, the same pattern, evil pattern of your parents, you will not follow the same thing. So that the same steps your parents took in their marriage will not happen to you. If you have a divorcee parent, you might end up being a divorcee too. So that is one of the reasons we should avoid sex before marriage. And apart from that, there are a lot of things, a lot of pain sex before marriage can cause you. Are these lot? When you go down with them before the due day, remember on the due day, after the whole paparazzi, after the wedding, after the dancing, after the ceremony, after all and all, the best thing that comes in is called honeymoon. Every one of you, both of you, you're looking forward to the night, to the wedding night. You're looking forward to what comes next. 
you're looking forward to how to consume yourself like oh my my wife oh she's now my husband oh i can have access to that body okay let me let's take let's make it practical now i um was it a um, few months ago i watched this Zion movie mm -hmm. and unfortunately i can't remember the topic i mean the title but maybe next time because i still have some more topic to bring under this i don't want the video to be too lengthy so i when i watched this movie i was like really this is exactly what every woman should know it's so painful i can't remember the title so anyway in this movie you know there there were these sisters who were actually friends and some of them were you know you know they, of course now when you are singles you are looking forward to that right man out there so they were both expecting and they were praying towards it so there's this man that came with this you know he was wealthy actually and the lady fought for it the lady is a christian she's a good christian but somehow somehow she fell for it and unfortunately you know she had herself to blame so in the uh, along along the line when she fell for it fine it's not that the brother does not like her the brother actually love her but so the brother was you know asking for this thing this thing called this thing so she was like of course you know who i am you know my status you know i'm a child of god you know why i shouldn't do this this brother is not a born again christian and the other sisters were going against it sister you can't go ahead with this because this brother is not a born again christian but you know what this sister is eager and she had to you know she decided to go into it so after all the warnings even from i think from their pastor as, as well the pastor also warned i think i can't remember oh, i don't want to hide what is not in the movie but i know that the friends were really really after her and then she was beginning to think that mm, because they are they are they don't have somebody after you know they don't have somebody yet that's why they feel that way you know there's this pressure that comes when you're single and you just want to jump into anyone that is available so that was the pressure this sister was having she just wanted to get married she just wanted this title missus she just wants someone to care for her every lady wants that but we have to take it cool otherwise we're gonna fall into peace and you know the thing called marriage sometimes apart from say you will pray is still a blind journey you are a both of you are blind because a lot of time when you get in there is a lot a lot a lot that you're gonna you know be true together i'm still gonna talk about that that's gonna be another topic okay they they were getting along so along the line of course the pressure from the brother was too much and it's not that the sister was not attracted to it's not that she doesn't wish it but she wished as a child of god she wished to stay until the wedding night but you know unfortunately for her she couldn't you, you know she couldn't just she couldn't stand on her determination she couldn't stay steadfast on that determination and she fell for it the first time they had it it was this brother that this flower that you know know what that means the brother was the first to open the place so somehow somehow she was weeping she was crying it was a regret because she had been praying that this will be kept till her wedding night but unfortunately she lost her virginity so that is number one if you have not done it before of course you're going to lose your virginity and it is not honorable why because it is not as the bible wants it for you not the bible you know the bible is the word of god and the word of god is god so that is not god's plan for you when you have to when you have to sacrifice your virginity before your marriage i will still talk about all that too that is going to be another topic so anyways so this brother had it with her she cried she regretted it but you know now because they've had it <laughs> the gate is opened so the brother was ready to get in at any time the, the sister will insist they have not weather though so the sister will insist the brother will go in the sister will insist the brother will go in number one you you, you pass a night together so of course something must happen sis so that is one of the ways you have to avoid it we'll talk about that too so anyways the brother kept on doing it countless time she kept on regretting it countless time but you know what when you make a mistake first time and you make it second time my dear sister my dear brother the third time is no longer a mistake once beaten twice shy you know when you are when you fall the first time it's a mistake 
Second time, you have to be shy, be ashamed, because that's no longer a mistake. You actually, you know, you, you actually couldn't just get determined. So anyway, that is that. So my point now is what I'm about to make. The lesson I learned there was that on the wedding night, guess what happened? <laughs> The sister was looking out for this paparazzi stuff on wedding night. Huh? But on wedding night, the brother slept off, my dear. Yeah, he was snoring like a drunkard. <sighs> the sister was really angry because she was expecting this, you know, on wedding night, some romantic husband you know husband already because it's already wedding night some romantic husband or let me say the guy they would decorate everywhere you know you they will have you know it's good to marry a romantic guy right they will have made everywhere to be like flowered pampered nurtured welcoming you know when you come in you come in like like a queen, you come in. Why? Why is the brother eager? The brother is eager because the brother never shopped before, now. Nah. You know? The brother is eager because you're new. The brother is eager because he's been waiting. The brother is eager because he has not eaten the apple. The brother is eager because the place is special. Because he hasn't gotten there before. <laughs> but <laughs> when the brother has entered, enter, 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 enter. Okay, I even forgot the most important part. When they kept doing it, the, the lady got pregnant. <gasps> Sorry. Yes, she got pregnant. And, you know, as a Christian, you are not expected to be doing it, let alone pregnant before my wedding. So she and the brother humbly lied to the pastor that they were still on the same page, you know. Actually, they, they did not ask them. There was no question about that. And that was walk over the lady's door. Because the lady said, oh... Thank God our church will not make, you know, some church, they will even go as far as having you to get tested before you do the wedding. Because they want to be sure you're not pregnant. And, you know, there's no way they can test you if you're a virgin. But the only thing is they will test you if you're not pregnant. So, some people still lie. Even though they are not pregnant, they still lie that they've never eaten themselves before. Their apples are still intact. It has not been beaten. <laughs> so, anyways, this is how it happened. So, she was already pregnant and that was unfortunately for her though because whether she's pregnant or not it still doesn't make any difference because the place is still flat it's not that the belly is big it was few months to their wedding she got pregnant i think few yeah few months to their wedding she got pregnant so it was still not obvious but of course the, the guy you know say something on day and she was expecting this paparazzi thing on the you know she was expecting some honeymoon Honeymoon is either you do it somewhere else or you do it in the couple home, you know, in your home, right there. But the guy was actually sleeping and snoring. That was what got the lady pissed off. Then she was waking him. Hey, you slept off. Tonight is our wedding night. It's our wedding night. It's our honeymoon. The guy was snoring like a drunkard. And then she got mad. She got hungry. She, you know, she hit him so hard, like... Wake up, it's our wedding night. Are we not supposed to be enjoying ourselves? Are we not supposed to be doing some romantic stuff? Are we not supposed to be having the, you know, brother, you're supposed to come in tonight. And the brother was like, excuse me. Oh, the brother looked at her like, hello? How many times I don't come in now? What's your problem? I've been there a lot of time. He didn't say a word, but he looked at her like, what else? What else are we on the moon? Oh, let's sleep. So the sister started crying. <laughs> I fell for her. Right. I really felt for her. You know, she cried, she wept, she was sad. Then she was, she goes, it's not your fault. That's because I've messed myself up before today. So what I want to say in summary, please. I believe we all learned something. You learned something, right? <laughs> I actually did learn something. I learned something not because I can rewind time for myself, but I learned something because, of course, I have children and I've gotten something important to teach them. Keep your virginity, 
keep your if you can't keep your virginity maybe it's too late for you then keep your body keep the rest wherever they stop on you just keep the rest for the man you know even though you have slept with 30 men the one that just got you you're still fresh for him fine yes believe it or not you're still a fresh apple for that guy who just met you who has not tested it who has not hitting your apple at all you are still very very fresh for that guy you are a lot fresh so don't let anybody deceive you like ah stop it you're not you're not a virgin yes you're not a virgin but you're still fresh so don't let them deceive you go ahead and keep it he wants you right let him wait if he can't wait then leave don't rush oh you see this married thing me are they inside oh don't rush oh there is no big deal you will get your own man it may not be the same time with your friends but you definitely get your own man calm down take a chill pill do not rush that guy is coming and no matter how messy that place is clean it up wait let him wait if he can't wait then let him take you to the altar abba it's just a phone call away pastor we are getting married next week as simple as that let him take you there you guys should go have it you have the wedding forget about social society wedding or what do they call it do your wedding the little way you can do it 10 people 20 people this this is a modern time not like before when the whole hall has to be filled up must you rent a big hall a little hall is enough your living room is enough wedding will take place dance make a beautiful album we put on put on your beautiful wedding dress it is the marriage that matter not the ceremony i hope you learned something mothers in the house singles in the house god bless you for hanging out with me i love you all so much let's meet again because i got a lot of things to say you know you all that think this challenge is for children i don't vex so we are not just for children we are for old and young catching them old and young for christ come in and let's catch you for christ baby love you all we are the glorious generations god bless you for joining me bye for now Shout out! God for to show His excellence. Oh.